Hello everyone, welcome to the large die kit of the month for Spellbinders, November 2019. I have everything laid out here and already die cut so we can have a look at what are the pieces that we're getting to put together. So before we do that, here I just wanted to show you real quick. This is, uh, these are some of the options that you can get with this die set. Um, we're missing one, so I'll show you that in a second. But you can make standalone elves or Santa, or you can actually make a full Santa card. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Additionally, you can also make a deer. And you can do this deer in full body, or you can make it in just the head. So uh, that's really cool. I think that's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, so lots of versatility in this die set. Um, I will tell you though, there's a lot of pieces. You'll get two separate bags of dies. So this comes in one and then this, the rest of this comes in the other. Lots of accessories because you're uh, given an opportunity to delineate between an elf and Santa. So for example, you would get nice accent pieces such as this collar right there for the elf or uh, things for the hat to make it look different. Um, there's one hat, but then um, you can add little pieces to that hat to, again, make it just look a little bit different. Um, you can add pieces to your shoes to make it look like elf shoes. Um, just a myriad of different things that you can actually do for that. So a uh, lot of fun. Can't wait to get into this. So let's start crafting. Okay, so I'm gonna first start out by pulling together the pieces for my Santa card. So that's the first thing I'm gonna make. I'm gonna show you a Santa card. I'm gonna show you the deer, how to assemble that, and then just some finished projects. So I'm trying to decide what are the pieces I need for this Santa, and hopefully this video and others that have been put out on YouTube can help you assemble your die kit when you get it. But I found this to be just kind of taking my time and figuring out how to piece this together. I also think when you put card uh, dies aside and then cu cut them out with coordinating color cardstock, it makes it a little bit easier because right now everything's just white. And so I don't want to waste them, so I'm actually going to color up a lot of these things. Uh, but that might be easier if you know which ones to color in uh, your cardstock. So I'm going to take this body die here and I'm gonna put that right on the edge. I didn't go high enough, but it's just a, as easy as a quick snip. But you can go a little bit higher and it will actually not cut the top portion of your card. Um, this way you can have that open fold already done for you. So very simple, but of course I didn't go high enough, but there it is. So that's our fold. And um, that's gonna be the main piece that we attach everything else to. So here I have Santa kind of laid out. I put this on some white paper so you can see it a lot better. Um, and I'm going to start coloring. So the parts that I'm looking at, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's going to be black? Now again, you can use colored cardstock, which I used a lot in my final projects for the two elves. But um, I'm right here just going to figure out, okay, I have the belt I need to color, the uh, gloves. So those little pieces I just colored are the gloves. You need two pairs of boots for a card um, that you're going to make the full card. And um, then I'm going to do his cheeks and his nose, and we're going to make those rosy blush. Um, and then I believe maybe the belt buckle, but we'll see if, um, if we're going to color that one too. The belt buckle on the other cards that you'll see that I'm, I made, they're going to actually be uh, in gold. So that was a lot of fun too, because that's why the dies are actually separated out really well for you to kind of... Um, cut them out at once. So for example, on one die would be the pieces for the accent elf. So like the hat accent and the skirt or the boots, that's all on one die. So you can run that through in some glitter cardstock and then you have all your accent pieces in glitter cardstock. So um, that was really good and well thought out. Here I'm gonna color up the face and I'm just using some Arteza markers. I have the skin tone set, which I think is a fantastic purchase. All of my um, elves and my deer and the Santa, they were all colored with the skin tone set from Arteza. So I'm really loving that. Um, I find it to be of great use and value. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting together my Santa here. I get um, this beard ready to go. And um, you really don't start to see this, I and mean, this is the obvious statement of the day, but you really don't start seeing this come together until you put, you start the assembly process and they're like, oh, this looks so cool. So yeah, I really, really had a lot of fun putting this together. I can say these kits are not 
kits that um, put your card or your projects together very quickly. They are a little bit on the more time consuming side of the house, but I also really enjoy that part of it at times. Um, it allows me to slow down, to think, to just enjoy the process. Uh, so that for me is actually a benefit when I, it's almost like perfect timing too, because I know when I need my life to just kind of slow and I get my Spellbinders kit out and I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't feel rushed with it. I feel like I know it's going to take a little bit of time. So I put that time aside. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so I'm going to continue to put my little Santa here together. And his cute little face is just coming together. It's so cute. And I love that they, the kit, and you don't have to use these little accent pieces. You can do up your own little cheeks with your uh, alcohol markers or whatever you want. So don't forget that although the kit comes in a certain way, you can definitely change it up a bit. You can also use these this um, kit this month for any type of person. So you could make a witch for Halloween, or you can make put little bunny ears on them for Easter. I mean, you can take this kit throughout the entire year. You really can. Uh, just a regular kit holding balloons or a present. So I mean, it's really versatile. I really enjoy that part of it. These are just really um, like accent pieces to make it very holiday-y. <laughs> so, so that's what we're gonna do also. If I'm being honest with you, I need some holiday cards to get done. So that's why I did not alter my die set as much as I could have uh, because I really just do need the projects. Okay, so you see my Santa head is just so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is going to um, be where we start to put things together. Now, on the bottom, you want to make sure that when your card is closed, you see the front of the boots on both sides. So you're going to see how I'm gluing this. But the idea is at the end of the day, when you open up this card, I want to see the front of the boots on both sides. So just remember that. Also, when you're putting together, I think I'm going to do the arms here in a second. When you're putting together the arms, um, let me see. no, I'm not going to do the arms yet. I'll get back to that tip in a bit because I learned a few things along the way that hopefully will save you time. Um, okay, yeah, the arms. So you want to make sure when your card is closed, the bottom part of the arm, the thicker part is on the bottom, thinner part on the top. So here me, here's me just kind of trying to figure out how to do this. And um, you just want to put a little bit of that on the inside and then make sure, again, thicker part on the bottom, thinner part on the top. Also, what I learned is you want to put those arms a little bit closer to the top of the body than the bottom. So for this Santa, I feel like I did it perfectly. For the boy elf, I feel like it might have been a little too high. And for the girl elf, a little too low. So you'll kind of see that there is a happy medium when placing down your arms. So I would highly recommend just paying attention to that detail. All right, so here I'm going to put his little cuffs which are gonna be right there on the tip. Now, for the elves, the cuffs are with the, um, kind of like the triangle edge type of elf uh, accent. So you know what I'm talking about with the hats and the shoes, and they kind of have those, I don't know what they're called, like I think of a jester, like those triangle stuff on the edge of their clothes. So, but for this one, it's just gonna be nice little cuffs. Also for the Santa's hat is going to be a little bit of like a snow, kind of cap on the edge of it, the tip, um, whereas for the elves I did a circle. So it just, you can play around with it. It's just a, a ton of fun. All right, I'm going to lastly put my gloves on the bottom where his hands are. And when you're doing the elves, I did skin tone for the end, so it just looks like they're, they're hands. Um, and I don't show you the projects for the elves. That's why I'm kind of talking you through it as I go, because those are some tips I wanted to pass on, but I did not film the, that process for them. So here I have my belt and I have the bottom of his coat. And the bottom of the coat is the larger of the two. And you will see that once you start laying things out, because the bottom of the coat is going to go at the bottom and your belt is going to fit perfectly right around the waist. Before I do that, I'm going to put this white strip right up and down the center of the coat. This way um, it looks authentic like a Santa's coat. So I put, get that down and then I'm going to add my belt. So again, just slowing down your process when you're putting these together. This way you put it together in the proper order 
and you don't have to rip up anything and redo it. On the bottom of the boots, this is where we're going to have, or sorry, the bottom of the pants, top of the boots, you're going to have the cuffs for the pants. So Santa is just looking like he is getting ready to go. He just needs a head. Let's put his head on <laughs> in a minute. Okay, on this, um, for the belt buckle, I actually decided to keep it white. I think a gold belt buckle or a silver or something like that would have been more fun. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to add his head, and then we are done with this Santa card. How cute is that? All right, I'm going to try to contain my excitement because it's just, I, I'm over the top sometimes. But this is so cute. So there I'm showing him standing up, and then I'll give you some close-ups here of Santa. And this was all colored cardstock with the red, so I did not have to color anything as far as that goes, but you certainly can, which is a lot of fun as well. But it just it was a large portion to cover color, so I just kept it with car cardstock. Okay, so right here we're going to put together our deer, which I colored off screen. And I am going to, because again, remember I colored or I cut all of these in white cardstock and I didn't want to waste, so I just went ahead and colored. The piece now I'm putting inside the deer's ear, that's a little pink piece right there. The large portion of that deer's ear is also going to be used for the elves' ears, so multiple multiple purposes there. So I want to make sure I said that so when you're looking for the elves' ears to finish off that look, that's what you're going to use is the large portion of the deer ear. I'm going to add my eyes, I'm going to add my little nose, and my two little pink things under his cheeks. And I'm also going to put the antlers on. So you can watch me do that. When I decided to add the white drops, not drops, um, like the white markings to the deer's head, be aware that you don't, like kind of be deliberate with it because I was not. And I was just making little marks all over this poor little deer's head. And I was trying to follow my example, but I was not deliberate enough and I just, it went kind of out of whack. So you'll see me do that. But I would, what I would do is I would draw an outline of where you want that V shape in the deer's head to be. So do that outline first and then fill in the insides. I was trying to do it freehand and just kind of go as I go to make a V shape. And it was just getting kind of, you know, when something looks lopsided, so then you add more to the other side and then it looks lopsided on the other side. And so I kind of was playing that game with myself and this deer. So that's my best recommendation for that. If you're going to add this little accent piece here to your project, just make a V first with your uh, white pen and then go back and do it. So you can see me trying to fix that. So in the end, it's okay. I like it. People get the idea that the deer has white spots. Um, so it's fine. But anyway, just trying to help with that. And I actually decided to use some pattern paper in my stash and pop this up as a wobble head. And that is going to be the finished card for this one. So here you can see I'm just wobbling with a Merry Christmas there. So I thought that was a lot of fun. So let me show you some still photos here of the two elves that I did um, after we get some close-ups of this deer. I really enjoyed coloring up that deer. Again, those markers are so fun. All right, so for my elves, I made them look like my children. So this is my son, <laughs> AJ. And you can see those different pieces, the cuffs, the collar, the shoes. Um, this is Adia, and you can also see what I mean by the arms. So her arms are too low, his arms were too high. Find a happy medium and you'll be good to go. But uh, I had a lot of fun putting these cards together. So if you got this kit, have fun and tag me on Instagram and social media. Make sure you tag Spellbinders. I want to see all these projects you're making. If you are interested in checking out the kit, you can click the link below and check it out that way. I will list everything I used in the video in the description below. If you have any questions, you know I love to talk to you in the comment section. So we will see you down there. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.